Look at this crystal saffron. Ingrain this in your memory. It will be linked below. Thank me later. This stuff smells amazing. Happy holidays, everyone. I'm back. Christmas is over, but is it? Not really. Let's get into my first, because I always like watching these videos. What I got for Christmas. I hope you and your family had an amazing holiday season. It's not over. We are still in Kwanzaa um, and Hanukkah and New Year's coming up. So I hope you guys are enjoying this time with your family. And if you do have some time off, I hope you're also enjoying that. But let's get started and showing you what I got for Christmas. This is a quick video. Please feel free to comment and let's share what you got. I'm extremely grateful for these gifts. So I want to say thank you to everyone who gifted me. If I haven't already said that, I definitely did. But let's get started. And if you are new to my channel, I'm Lynn, AKA Lux Lynn ATL living in Atlanta, doing all things beauty, perfume, lifestyle, and I love to travel. So let's get started. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button right here, right there. You see that? Yes, because I am at the year mark. So this has been fun, so much fun. So we are sitting in the living room. Wanted to give y'all a different angle. We are by the tree the beautiful flocked tree that I have figured out quite how to get those neutral colors to pop a little bit, still working on it, but can you tell I like colors that are sort of muted to go with the decor. Y'all like to be nosy, or not just nosy, but you know, just wanna see, you know, what people are getting for, you know, Christmas. And also it gives you some great ideas, maybe for what you would get someone else down the line for a birthday gift or anniversary gift. So these are some of my favorite videos to watch because I think the downtime in between, you know, New Year's and Christmas is always quiet and it's always relaxing, hence the fireplace. It's cold everywhere literally everywhere. Atlanta has been having seven to 12 degrees outside. So stay bundled up, hope your pipes and your, you know, your water has been on and power has been frequent because we have all been going through it. So first gift I will talk about today that I was gifted was these amazing shades by, is it Eliza or Alyssa Johnson, Magic Johnson's daughter. These are super cute and I love her packaging. So you can see it's this really cute white case that's magnetic. And I think it's perfect because this is actually a pretty narrow one. It's always hard for me to pack these with the big cases. Like Dior has a big one, Prada does too, but they can actually fit in the back and these are beautiful look at these they have that blue tint what you would call blue tint purple ish technology i love them and they darken when you put them on these are hot i saw these online courtesy of i know lee was talking about her brand and i thought oh those are some really cute sunglasses so look at these oh look at these do they not <laughs> just give you total like vintage vibe but with the twist and I love these I cannot wait to wear these out and sun and fun and I love her glasses they give you a lot of different options for colors and black on go support your girl she's doing an amazing job I have to link them below and I'll tell you guys where they're sold but oh I love Aren't they cute? And this is the first pair of glasses that I've ever um, looked at and bought in without trying them on. So I think I have a face shape that pretty much <laughs> fits any type of glasses. I was told, so I took a chance and was like, I hope these look good on me. Um, if you don't know what your face shape is, I think I have more of a round oval. So 
round oval shape. I was told I don't have really high cheekbones, but cheekbones, you know, that sit well with sunglasses make it a little bit easier to choose. These right here, I think, are adorable. Don't get into that little hormonal situation you see on my face, but yeah, these are gorgeous. Thanks. These gifts are specific to my HBCU, which is the illustrious South Carolina State University and the Berg. And if you didn't see Homecoming this year was lit, I'll make sure we link that video after this one if you wanna see what a black college homecoming looks like after the pandemic when you haven't seen people in a long time. It was fun. So one of the things that I was gifted this year, which I absolutely loved, was this sweatshirt from Legacy History Pride. It's super cute, y'all. It has the burgundy and the cream, and it's repping our Bulldogs. The mascot, which I love this piece because it gives you that Letterman style. And then also on the back, the year the school was founded. So this right here is one of my favorite gifts. I think it's super cute. It's gonna be worn a lot and it's cold, so this is perfect. Can't wait to go check them out and see what else they have online. But if you are looking to um, see if your school is featured, if you went to a historically black college and university, go check them out. And special shout out as well, because we have a bulldog um, friend who also makes t-shirts. So if you're looking at getting something made for your school, we have some amazing, really cute t-shirts. This one's long sleeve made by one of my classmates, Cleveland on Facebook. We'll link him below if you're looking to get some stuff made. Shout out to you for the win. These are super cute. So just had to shout out the school. That second gift, third gift, I'm sure you guys have seen it. If you haven't, make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok because the last 25 days I have been showcasing this bad boy right here. This was a gift from hubby. I will tell you, this is a gift that keeps on giving because this right here was gifted for Christmas, but it was started to be opened from December 1st and on, you can see some of them have been taken out. I've gifted some to my friends and family because what I'm gonna do with 25 candles and perfumes besides hoard them, I like to share. I'm a gifter by nature. So this right here was one of the gifts I was most excited about because this thing is only available starting in October. And so last year when I realized that it sells out quite fast, I was freaking out and I was like, I need it. And my husband knew that I loved the teak. So gifted this and it was dropped off sometime around end of October, November. And I just basically sat there and like looked at it and tried not to peek and open it for about a month. And I can't say whether I peaked or not. You guys, what do you think? Probably did, but <laughs> if you would like to see what came in the advent calendar, there'll be some little clips of that on my TikTok and also in this video, cause they give you some really good gifts. They're really cute. So Diptyque advent calendar for the win 2022. Can't wait to get this as well. I wanna continue this tradition from year after year. Thanks babe. So this is how Diptyque's opens. Very cute. I think I saw Leo in here, y'all. Where is it? Somewhere. It glows in the dark and it's that time, y'all. Day one of Advent Calendar with Tip Teak. We found one. Pegasus. And let's see. December 1st, we have a mini candle. Should I pronounce it Faux de Bois? Yes, y'all. Very cute, day one. I found number three right here. Wonder what we have. Yes, 
Three is Figuera. Figs, basically, y'all. Fig tree. One of my favorite scents. I love this one. I have this one in my entryway. Yeah, under the tree tonight with the dip tea and day 10. Oh, day 10 are the ornaments. Oh, I love, let's see. The ornaments are so pretty because, look at that. Perfect for the tree. It's black with gold. I actually don't have gold on the tree, but I'll do it for you guys. All right, Diptyque. Very pretty, and there's three. There's three, let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, you get to make them into a decorative ball. And now we are at day 13, which is, oh, it looks like a candle. Is this what I think? Oh, yes, this is one of my favorites. This is one of the first ever candles that I bought um, at the Orange County Pacific, dang it, Costa. Why can't I think of the Pacific Coast Mall? This and Bay was the first two candles that I purchased and I absolutely love roses. It is the most beautiful smelling rose candle I've ever smelled because I think roses tend to smell sickly in real life but not this one this is a beautiful representation of the flower and it burns so well with bay me and my husband actually have tried to flip the gift exchange a little bit since last year and just because we like to travel so much we were trying to think of what you know, what experiences and what memories are made with gifting. I mean, we have birthdays and anniversaries and holidays. And what we thought was a great idea was maybe not so much requesting gifts or gifts in each other, physical things, but now we actually make experiences gifts. So that is trips, road trips, um, you know, things that create memories as gifts. So, one of those experiences that um, we gifted each other this year um, was the Highland. And so if you did not see that trip, the Highlands North Carolina trip at Old Edwards Inn and Spa was an experience gift this year. So if you are at the point where you're like, hey, you have someone that's either, you know, a little hard to shop for, or you can't really guess what they would like, give them a trip, give them some experiences. You know, something as simple as a lunch out or a brunch or a spa day, or a wine tasting, or a wine train trip. Those things are things you never forget. So that's what we are on right now, where we're already almost at year five. So he got some experiences coming his way, and I'm sure I do because he spoils me. Oh, so much, oh, so much. Thanks. Let's talk about this gift right here because this was a surprise. I was so excited to see. This baby came in the mail on Christmas Eve. And this is my first, no, it's not, it's my first real hat. Cause I have some that are like vacation hats for the beach, like beach hats that are really pretty. This is my first. My mother loves hats and it always has. I have an uncle who used to wear hats. So I think hats run in our family. My grandmother for sure used to wear some amazing hats is what you want my mom would say she used to wear some chiffon hats this right here is added to my collection and it's beautiful can you guys see that little detail so it has a really pretty little arrow there on the side this is a stetson from highland hattery highland hatters and look at it This baby is me. It's beautiful. I love her. My mom always says, you. Can, can I see y'all? Probably not, it doesn't matter. Just don't walk into me. But she is gorgeous and I was so excited to see her under the tree. 
Thank you so much. Santa was good to me. <clears throat> Can I get it off? I got it so low. Okay, here we go. I love it. I think this is gonna be the first to a collection. How many of y'all like hats? If you do, let's talk about which styles you like because I'm still getting into this and I'm a newbie. So teach me everything. Where do you store your hats? Where do you get them from? If you're very you know, curious about Highland Hattery, they have some great customer service. They personalize your hats. So I did see where you can get your name burnt into your brim. You can also get feathers and different things added to your brim to personalize it. And they have some really cute stuff. So thank you guys. Which um, is a recent find. We were up in Michigan for Thanksgiving and we stopped at this counter or we were stopped by this counter. It must've just been fate because I don't usually stop and just look at different perfume brands that I'm not familiar with unless I've heard about it. And this brand, Matier Premier, is a um, French perfume brand and they are based out of Paris. And I will just say, when we smelt this scent, I have been obsessed ever since. So, thanks so much. Look at this crystal saffron. Ingrain this in your memory. It will be linked below. Thank me later. This stuff smells amazing. It's beautiful, nice size bottle, and it's unisex. It can be worn by men or women and anyone who wears this fall in love because it is one of the sexiest scents I have ever smelled. And I think scents have personalities, so this one is sexy. It's amazing. I'm trying to think, let me actually look it up and I'll tell you guys what the notes are. This is made out of a saffron oil from Greece. This one is special. It comes from the Cozenia region, which is considered the most qualitative or quality saffron in the world. It also has musk. It also has ambroxan, which I love that amber and incense. So it has like that smoky undertone, but quite bright, which I guess that's where the crystal name comes from. Very vibrant thing. And the projection mm, just leaves you speechless, speechless. Price point wise, I think it's around the 260 mark and worth every drop. Can you tell I love it? Thanks. <laughs> the last present, which I was so surprised to open was probably one of the many things that I talk about all year and hubby pays great attention to detail and he knows me quite well let's not even just let me show you let's see boop, boop. we got a little got a little box from jimmy jimmy's in town and what do we have here let's do a little unboxing dust bag dust bag means their shoes right and here they are the Jimmy Choo Beans and Ballet Pink. A stunning shoe. One of my favorite colors that I gravitate to. I think it's like a natural skin tone, a nude for my complexion, and a beautiful shoe. These shoes give you the most amazing toe cleavage, which is sexy. A little heel so you don't have to worry about, you know, that meal gives you a little bit of relief from what I feel like the Anouk pumps that I had in black pattern used to kill my feet. So these, you at least get to, to breathe. So that's the last gift. So very excited about these. I cannot wait to wear these on a night out or a night sitting, the little cleavage. What do y'all think? Aren't they beautiful? Thanks.
I'm very excited about planning outfits around these. What is this? Joining me around the fireplace and the tree to talk about what I was gifted and I'm oh so grateful. I have the most amazing family and husband. I love you guys so much. Hope you had a happy holidays and you are enjoying the end to this amazing 2022 year. And I'm looking forward to all the beautiful manifestations and blessings coming our way in 2023. Cheers. See y'all in the next one. Love you. Bye.